Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. This is the first of a three part tutorial where I'll be showing you how to create pop art in the style of Liechtenstein. In the second video I'll be showing you how to colour the drawing and in the third video I'll be showing you how to finish off the pop art. But in this video I'll be showing you how to draw uh, the pop art and I'll be going over exactly how I achieved this result here. So let's take a closer look. We are in Illustrator and I have used the brush tool to draw all these different lines and strokes. As you can see, there's a number of different lines of different thicknesses. Now, I've created the brushes previously. Uh, you can get the brushes tablet by coming up to a window and grabbing the brushes. And yes, as you can see, I've created a number of brushes which I've used to capture the Liechtenstein style graphic strokes he's got. If we come into Photoshop, I've got some image I've got a little mood board here of some images I've grabbed off the internet of Roy Lichtenstein. And you can see if we take away the colour, if we imagine this with no colour, it's just a series of bold black strokes. So we're gonna make a start and I'm gonna show you how I created this. Right then. So let's come up to a new artboard and this is the image that I'm going to trace. This could be any image. All right then, so we're going to come to our layers and I'm going to grab this image and I'm going to quickly edit, cut this image because I'm going to create a new layer and this is going to be called our image and I'm going to edit paste in place and I'm going to make this at 50%. I'm doing this so when we draw on top I'll be able to see my strokes just fine. I'm going to lock that layer and create a new layer called trace. This is where I'm going to start to draw. And I'm going to quickly bring my opacity back up to 100%. All my lines will be 50%. And let's zoom in. We're going to start from the outside in. And we're going to start with the hair. Right, so I'm going to grab my first brush and double click on that just to show you guys what I'm working with. I've called it a hair outline stroke. And it's at an angle of 130 and at a roundness of 40 and a diameter of 14. Now this is going to give us a sort of calligraphic uh, style look when we when we draw um, with that. May I add, I'm using a pen tablet to do this. Um, I have used a mouse in the past and I've got some good results with that but for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to be using a pen tablet such as this one here which I'm going to about to show you. Right, back to the drawing. So let's let me first start by drawing the outline of the hair And that looks fine. Um, then I'm going to come over and just use the same brush and draw the outline of the face. Okay, maybe not. Let's do that again. Do. Okay, so that's the outline of the hair and the face. Next up. I'm just going to, if we look at our reference, we can see that uh, Lichtenstein would use and try and capture the essence of the hair by using smaller strokes. So I'm going to do just that using a smaller brush, this time called the hair inside stroke. Exactly the same as the previous stroke, but this time it's at a certain point. So I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to try and capture the essence of the hair here with a number of lines. And I'm sure you don't want to watch me do all this, so I'm just going to skip, skip ahead to I've, so I've completed the hair. Okay, so that's our hair. Now, before I move ahead, I just want to bring out some of these, these lines that are all looking very samey at the moment. So I'm going to shift and select a couple of these strokes, pick out a couple of these strokes, and I'm going to click on my thick brush. And as you can see, it's just bringing out those strokes there. So we've got a little bit of sort of graphic depth. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is move on to the eye and face detail. And let's start with the eye. So I'm pressing Z to grab up our zoom key. And I'm going to zoom in on the eye. And I've created a brush called um, Eyeball Stroke. Well, actually, it's the 
eye outline stroke and I'm gonna go ahead and draw myself an eye outline and that's looking fine I'm gonna move across to my other eye and draw an outline stroke for that that's looking okay not too shabby and let's give a bit of boldness on the underside of the eye there just drawing another stroke making that nice and bold and once again on the other eye we've got a bit of mess there but we we'll clean it up later okay so for the eyelashes I've created a different brush called the eyelash stroke and this is actually at an angle of 80 degrees as you can see it's pointing up in that direction and that's convenient because when we select that brush we'll be able to draw our eyelashes just like so and again on the other eye and there's our eyelash looking okay whoops daisy zoom out a bit so let's look at drawing some other features I've got a brush here called got a brush here called features in detail and that's at an angle of zero and a roundness of a hundred so with that selected we can come in and start to draw a little bit of detail of the face with the features there and a line around the nose and so that we can tidy that up by using our direct selection tool and selecting selecting the node and just deleting that getting rid of that we can do that the same here as well just deleting that deleting all those random nodes that we don't want make them go away okay that's looking good now I'm going to draw the nostrils with an ellipse tool and fill that in put that there make it a little bit wider and by pressing shift and by pressing alt I'm going to click and drag it over and that's just made a direct selection okay let's zoom out there and that's looking okay and then next of course we're going to draw the eye and I've prepared a brush for that called um, what is it what is it let's yeah eyeball stroke the eyeball stroke is the same as the features in detail but just a bit smaller so let's go ahead and draw our eye there whoops not so much that'll do for now using the ellipse tool to draw an eyeball that'll be good that's looking just fine let's clean that eyeball up a little bit it's looking a bit messy so we can come in let's come right in and by using our delete anchor point tool we can just get rid of those nodes there that we're not happy with and that is looking just fine select the eye and the eye outline and we can edit copy that and edit paste and can move that in place okay now let's let's do these eyebrows let's click that brush on the outside the hair outline stroke and let's go ahead and draw the eyebrow how's that looking it's looking okay and again eyebrow nice and thick as we can find in our reference image the eyebrows tend to be quite thick that's good now um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw the hand and I'm going to use our features and I'm going to use our features and detail brush and I'm just going to start to draw the hand draw the hand there now I'm sure you don't want to watch me draw the hand so I'm going to quickly skip ahead and here is the hand fully drawn um, just going to zoom in and with the features and detail brush I'm just going to add our add some fingernails 
And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to attempt to draw the mouth. And again, it's looking fine. And then I'm going to come over to my brush called Teeth, and I'm going to draw in the. Whoops. See there. Not so much. It's all right. And we're making progress. Right, so we're going to take a look at the clothing now. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to draw the, the outline of the clothing. So I think I've got the clothing outline stroke here. And with that selected, we are going to draw our main bold clothing outline stroke. Um, actually, yeah, let's, let's go all the way down with that as it's our outline stroke and we can come over here now I want to show you a quick tip I want to show you a quick little tip where it comes to the collar here as you can see if we look at the collar you can see there's lots of lines involved now I've got a brush here called cloth and inside stroke which is a little bit smaller than the previous one so first of all I'm going to draw a, a stroke here on the inside a line that's one line and I'm going to draw another line on the outside. And then, let's just zoom in here. With these two, let's quickly tidy up this. Grab our delete anchor point tool and come up. Let's grab our stroke there and just delete that node. Excuse that. Right. So, with these two lines selected, we're going to come over to our blending tool, which we'll find. Where's the blending tool? Here it is. The blending tool. Double click on that. Whoops. One click, sorry. Click on that once. And we're going to click on the end of the first line and the end of the second line. And you'll notice that a line appears in the middle. Now, if we double, double click on the blending option and click specific steps, let's put in four steps there. And you can see that it's filled those lines in for us. I'll save a bit of time for us to draw that later. So hey, let's do that again. We're going to draw a stroke line and draw another line. With those two lines selected, let's come over to our blending tool. Click it once. Click on that node there and that node there and it has drawn the lines for us. And let's do the same there too brush, draw a line, draw a line again, select one line, select the second line, click on the blending tool, one, two, and there you have it. Very nice. And I'm going to click that and give that a nice bold, bold appearance by clicking on the other stroke there. Okay, we're almost done. Now, the last thing to do is just to tidy up the, the illustration and to add some details, such as here we've got some earrings and a little bit more detail in the face. And I've tidied up all these lines, made them all seamless, deleted a lot of the, the, the junk that was around there, making it all very, very nasty. So this is now all ready and prepared to take to the next stage the next stage where we're going to take this drawing from Illustrator and import it into Photoshop and apply some of the colouring techniques. I hope you can join me then. Click in the description or click here to go to the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you wish to download this Illustrator 5 document it is indeed in the description where you can acquire all these brushes. So I hope you have fun guys and I'll see you in the next video.